In mathematics, particularly in functional analysis, a bornological space is a type of space which, in some sense, possesses the minimum amount of structure needed to address questions of boundedness of sets and functions, in the same way that a topological space possesses the minimum amount of structure needed to address questions of continuity. Bornological spaces were first studied by Mackey. The name was coined by Bourbaki after Borne, the French word for bounded. Topic: <laughs> Bornological sets. A bornology on a set X is a collection B of subsets of X such that B covers X, i.e., X equals B. Display style x equals big cup B. B is stable under inclusions, i.e., if a element of B and a, a, then a element of B. B is stable under finite unions, i.e., if B one, B n element of B, then I equals one n B I element of B. Display style big cup underscore i equals one carrot n b underscore i in b. Elements of the collection b are usually called bounded sets. The pair x b is called a bornological set. A base of the bornology b is a subset b o of b such that each element of b is a subset of an element of b o. Topic examples. <laughs> 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 For any set X, the power set of X is a bornology. For any set X, the set of finite subsets of X is a bornology. Similarly the set of all at most countably infinite subsets is a bornology. More generally, the set kappa X WP underscore underscore kappa X of all subsets of X having cardinality at most kappa Display style kappa is a bornology when kappa display style kappa is an infinite cardinal. For any topological space X that is T1, the set of subsets of X with compact closure is a bornology. Topic: Bounded maps. If B1 and B2 are two bornologies over the spaces X and Y, respectively, and if F, X, Y is a function, then we say that F is a bounded map if it maps B1 bounded sets in X to B2 bounded sets in Y if in addition F is a bijection and F minus 1 display style F caret minus 1 is also bounded then we say that F is a bornological isomorphism. Examples If X and Y are any two topological vector spaces they need not even be Hausdorff and if F, X, Y is a continuous linear operator between them, then F is a bounded linear operator when X and Y have their von Neumann bornologies. The converse is in general false, theorems. Suppose that X and Y are locally convex spaces and that U, X, Y is a linear map. Then the following are equivalent. U is a bounded map. U takes bounded disks to bounded disks. For every bornivorous, i.e., bounded in the bornological sense, disk D in Y, U minus one D display style U caret minus one D is also bornivorous. Topic: Vector bornologies. If X is a vector space over a field K then a vector bornology on X is a bornology B on X that is stable under vector addition, scalar multiplication, and the formation of balanced hulls i.e. if the sum of two bounded sets is bounded, etc. If in addition B is stable under the formation of convex hulls i.e. the convex hull of a bounded set is bounded then B is called a convex vector bornology. And if the only bounded subspace of X is the trivial subspace, i.e., the space consisting only of 
0 display style 0 then it is called separated a subset a of x is called bornivorous if it absorbs every bounded set in a vector bornology a is bornivorous if it absorbs every bounded balanced set and in a convex vector bornology a is bornivorous if it absorbs every bounded disk topic <laughs> bornology of a topological vector space Every topological vector space X gives a bornology on X by defining a subset B X to be bounded or von Neumann bounded if and only if for all open sets U X containing zero there exists A R greater than zero with B R U. If X is a locally convex topological vector space, then B X is bounded if and only if all continuous semi-norms on X are bounded on B. The set of all bounded subsets of X is called the bornology or the von Neumann bornology of X. Induced topology Suppose that we start with a vector space X and convex vector bornology B on X if we let T denote the collection of all sets that are convex, balanced, and bornivorous then T forms neighborhood basis at zero for a locally convex topology on X that is compatible with the vector space structure of X. Bornological spaces In functional analysis, a bornological space is a locally convex topological vector space whose topology can be recovered from its bornology in a natural way. Explicitly, a Hausdorff locally convex space X with topology tau and continuous dual X is called a bornological space if any one of the following equivalent conditions holds the locally convex topology induced by the von neumann bornology on size the same as tau display style tau x is given topology every convex balanced and bornivorous set in x is a neighborhood of zero every bounded semi norm on x is continuous any other Hausdorff locally convex topological vector space topology on X that has the same von Neumann bornology as X tau display style X tau is necessarily coarser than tau display style tau. For all locally convex spaces Y, every bounded linear operator from X into Y is continuous. X is the inductive limit of norm spaces. X is the inductive limit of the norm spaces X d as d varies over the closed and bounded disks of X or as d varies over the bounded disks of X. X carries the Mackey topology. Tau X X display style tau X X and all bounded linear functionals on X are continuous. X has both of the following properties. X is convex sequential or C sequential, which means that every convex sequentially open subset of X is open. X is sequentially bornological or S bornological, which means that every convex and bornivorous subset of X is sequentially open, where a subset A of X is called sequentially open if every sequence converging to zero eventually belongs to A. Topic. Examples The following topological vector spaces are all bornological Any metrizable locally convex space is bornological. In particular, any Frechet space. Any LF space i.e. any locally convex space that is the strict inductive limit of Frechet spaces. Separated quotients of bornological spaces are bornological. The locally convex direct sum and inductive limit of bornological spaces is bornological. Frechet Montel have a bornological strong dual. Properties 
Given a bornological space X with continuous dual X, then the topology of X coincides with the Mackey topology tau X, X. In particular, bornological spaces are Mackey spaces. Every quasi-complete i.e. all closed and bounded subsets are complete bornological space is barreled. There exist, however, bornological spaces that are not barreled. Every bornological space is the inductive limit of normed spaces and Banach spaces if the space is also quasi-complete. Let X be a metrizable locally convex space with continuous dual X display style X then the following are equivalent beta x x display style beta x x is bornological beta x x display style beta x x is quasi barreled beta x x display style beta x x is barreled x is a distinguished space if x is bornological y display style y is a locally convex tvs and u xy is a linear map then the following are equivalent u is continuous for every set bx that's bounded in x u b is bounded if xn x is a null sequence in x then u xn is a null sequence in y the strong dual of a bornological space is complete, but it need not be bornological. Closed subspaces of bornological space need not be bornological. Topic: <laughs> Banach disks. Suppose that X is a topological vector space. Then we say that a subset D of X is a disk if it is convex and balanced. The disk D is absorbing in the space span D, and so its Minkowski functional forms a seminorm on this space, which is denoted by mu D display style mu underscore D, or by P D. When we give span D the topology induced by this seminorm, we denote the resulting topological vector space by x D display style x underscore D. A basis of neighborhoods of zero of this space consists of all sets of the form R D where R ranges over all positive real numbers. If D is von Neumann bounded in X then the norm topology of X D will be finer than the subspace topology that X induces on this set. This space is not necessarily Hausdorff as is the case, for instance, if we let X equals R 2 Display style x equals math b r caret two and d be the x-axis. However, if d is a bounded disk and if x is Hausdorff, then mu d display style mu underscore d is a norm and x d is a normed space. If d is a bounded sequentially complete disk and x is Hausdorff, then the space x d is a Banach space. A bounded disk in X for which XD is a Banach space is called a Banach disk, infracomplete, or a bounded completant. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Properties. Suppose that X is a locally convex Hausdorff space. If D is a bounded Banach disk in X and T is a barrel in X then T absorbs D i.e. there is a number R greater than zero such that D R T. Examples Any closed and bounded disk in a Banach space is a Banach disk. If U is a convex balanced closed neighborhood of zero in X then the collection of all neighborhoods R U, where R greater than zero ranges over the positive real numbers, induces a topological vector space topology on X when X has this topology, it is denoted by X underscore U. Since this topology is not necessarily Hausdorff nor complete, the completion of the Hausdorff space X U Ker mu U 
Display style x underscore u cur mu underscore u is denoted by x carrot u display style hat x underscore u so that x carrot u display style hat x underscore u is a complete Hausdorff space and mu u display style mu underscore u is a norm on this space making x caret u display style hat x underscore u into a Banach space. The polar of u d display style d is a weakly compact bounded equicontinuous disk in x display style x caret asterisk and so is infracomplete. Topic: Ultrabornological spaces. A disk in a topological vector space X is called infrabornivorous if it absorbs all Banach disks. If X is locally convex and Hausdorff, then a disk is infrabornivorous if and only if it absorbs all compact disks. A locally convex space is called ultrabornological if any of the following conditions hold. Every infrabornivorous disk is a neighborhood of zero. X be the inductive limit of the spaces X D as D varies over all compact disks in X. A seminorm on X that is bounded on each Banach disk is necessarily continuous. For every locally convex space Y and every linear map U, X Y, if U is bounded on each Banach disk then U is continuous. For every Banach space Y and every linear map U, X Y, if U is bounded on each Banach disk then U is continuous. Properties The finite product of ultrabornological spaces is ultrabornological. Inductive limits of ultrabornological spaces are ultrabornological. Topic. See also Space of linear maps <laughs>